Changes are coming to the downtown area of Statesville. The Housing Authority is spearheading major projects like a new park, music venue, pickleball courts, putting green, and an arts hub. But there is one more project coming that's been in the works for more than a decade. Queen City News Chief Business Correspondent Taylor Young takes us to Statesville with the latest on what's coming. On the outside, downtown Statesville has all the signs of a welcoming town. But there is one sign that makes it clear. Being a skater in Statesville's kind of sucked for the last most of my life. Not everyone has a place. So it's pretty much trying to skate, not get caught. <laughs> for years, skateboarding has been illegal in downtown Statesville. But with no designated place to skate in town, some take the risk anyway. A police officer pulled up with his blue lights on and told my son he could not skateboard, and I just don't see any good in that. As a lifelong skater himself, Christian Griffith's frustration over the lack of inclusiveness came to a boiling point in 2013. A teenager hit and killed while skateboarding in the road near downtown. Kids want to be kids, and kids deserve to be kids and deserve a place to just feel that it's okay to be who they are and, and have fun. And that's what this whole project is about. It's about the kids and the community and making positive change. For the past 11 years, Griffith has endlessly pushed for the town of Statesville to build its very own skate park. Now it's finally happening. We're real excited, and it's it's definitely happened. Like the ball's rolling, the city of Statesville's on our side with it now. Like that's that's the dream come true right there. This decrepit brick building, owned by the Statesville Housing Authority, has been decaying and vacant for years. But with a little work, concrete layout, and some art, it will become the town's first skate park since the 70s. Words can't explain it. <laughs> um, it's unreal. I, I will say that it's unreal, and. Humbling. While owned by the Housing Authority, Griffith's nonprofit Live to Skate will be paying the park's bills. The group has been actively fundraising, but is also relying on local businesses to chip in. Galaxy Arcade is one of several businesses to donate money in exchange for advertisement space on the park's exterior. When he asked me to be part of this, there was no way I could say, you know, yes to it because. Uh, it's just an amazing opportunity. A generation of skateboarders who haven't felt welcomed, now creating a space that's welcoming to all. Having a skate park is something that has been needed for a very long time. Uh, there's not much in the community for the youth. This is just going to be something very positive that gives kids somewhere to go. There's just been a need for it for a very long time. The park's opening day is set for June 8th. Reporting in Statesville, Taylor Young, Queen City News.